learn new stuff every day, and that's pretty exciting. Uh, and especially, especially applies to software development. As we build cool stuff, and we learn what works, what doesn't work so well, and then we want to fix those things that didn't work that well. And that's nice when we have uh, a new project, and we can just set up tools like linters and make sure that we don't do the same mistakes over and over again. And uh, that's especially helpful when we have deadlines and stuff. But in an ongoing project, when we change the linter config, we can run into situations like this. This can be a bit hard to do, and it's hard to do code reviews. It's easy to do mistakes. We are human after all. So we want to chop, off, uh, chop up the changes and do smaller changes. And how can we do that? So usually these days, uh, most of us use version control. And version control knows what changes in our code bases. So we can ask the version control if the line that uh, a linter uh, is referencing has changed. And then we can filter it, and we can get situations like this, which are a bit more doable. And this is good for several reasons. Uh, we are able to do smaller changes, and, and this uh, will result in less errors, as we are in context of the code that we're changing. So we're probably going to do more high-quality changes. Also, this is super good for uh, your future team members, uh, because all the tribal knowledge you can easily put into the linter config right away, even though you haven't changed it. So when they go to look at all code, they can see, oh, this is not the way this project do this stuff anymore. And they will thank you. But it's not a perfect solution. It adds a quite an overhead, and it might be not be for your project. Uh, so you should really consider before adding a technique like this. Uh, it will, it's kind of a scope creep for every pull request, uh, which can be kind of a hassle. Uh, but then again, you're improving things, you're fixing the problems that you know you have in your code that you want to fix, and you're at least ensuring that you don't introduce new errors. Also, it's worth mentioning that there are automatic tools that can do stuff like this for you uh, easily, so you should check out uh, auto-fixing and uh, code modes before doing something like this. Thank you for listening. <laughs>